Hey, 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 welcome back to my awesome subscribers. This is Christine, your DIY craftaholic. If this is your first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Do not be a stranger. Come around as often as you can. And today I have four fall DIYs for you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So in our first DIY, I'm making a fall wall sign using this sign from the Dollar Tree. I had originally scraped off the glitter, so now I'm just adding a coat or maybe two coats of white acrylic paint. And here we have, I'm just going to go in now and add some lines and that is just to give it a shiplock look. So I'm scoring it with a pencil and then I'm sanding it down. And after I sanded it down, I just dusted it off. And then I'm going in with some Waverly Brown paint using a thin paintbrush to just paint over those lines. I'm using this Mod Podge, which it's dishwasher safe and it gives a sheen even brighter than the original one. A full list of all the items I use will be in the description box below. So after I did that and it was dried, now I'm going in with some pressed flowers. Got a bouquet of flowers sometime in May and it was so colorful I decided to press the flowers. So I am now cutting the word fall from this poster stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I am only going to be using the outer part of the letters as stencils. only had one L so I had to modify and um, reuse the same the same L when I was done pasted that on I'm going in with some orange paint with this dapper and you want to make sure that you're painting th that the paint is going on the inside because if you go on the outside then you will have to touch that up with the white paint now this is a flower press that I got from the 79 cent store I just love going into that store so I am going I had pressed the flowers this one was pressed with the press and the others I pressed using a huge book. So what I did, I just apply some Mod Podge and then place the flower on top of it and then go in again with Mod Podge to seal that. Now as you can see, the flowers that were pressed with the book lost some of their petals as well as their vibrancy, but I decided to use them nevertheless. So this is what we have after I did all of that. So now I'm going in, I'm just going to add some embellishment. I'm using this fall pick from the Dollar Tree. You can feel, feel free to use whatever design, whatever flowers you have, whether you want to use the flowers or just ribbons or bows or anything you can find. You can um, decide on how you want to do that. For the hanging, I just added some beads to a piece of jute twine, tied it at the front. Flipped it over and added some hot glue just to keep that in place. And then I thought to myself, this needs something else. So I some buffalo gingham ribbon which i got from amazon the roll is 50 yards i will leave a link of that in the description below if you're interested you can check that out and i just made two bows and glued them on and here we have this it's all done For 
For this DIY, I'll be using the large paint stars. I got those from Lowe's and I cut those down to seven inches and then sanded them down. I am now just using this L square just to make sure that they are level. And then I went in with some wood glue as well as hot glue to glue the pieces together. I then took two small paint stars, added some wood glue and hot glue and glued those to the back and used some clamps to hold those in place. Then I used some golden pecan stain. I stained the front as well as the back, lightly staining. I am taking the sheet of buffalo check. I just printed that from the internet. And I'm selecting the word fall. I only had one L, so I made, made another L using cardboard. And then I'm, I flipped the paper over and I'm going to glue the letters on. And after I glue the letters on, I then cut them out and fold the edges over and glued that down as well. Cutting the, the paper and gluing it, folding it over, that is optional. You can cut off the excess and just leave it as is or you can glue, fold them over if you like. Then when the wood was dry, I went in with some Mod Podge again and, and applied that to it. I'm going to be using some fall pick from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just arbitrarily just gluing this down. You can decide however you want to put this on, whether you want to add more or less. I am just using what I have with the branches, the maple leaves, the sunflower. And again, gluing down the word fall. Now, I thought that this needed a little bit more sprucing up. So I went in and added buffalo check to the top of the letters and then glued a piece of the, the ribbon at the back for hanging. And this is done. I just think this is absolutely beautiful. Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you to you have not yet subscribed to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So YouTube notifies you every time I upload new content. Now I had this piece of uh, scrap board that I got from Home Depot. I just cut that down into three equal pieces, seven inches. And then I applied some hot glue to two of the the sides on one and then glued the other one on top of it and allowed that to dry. Now after that was dried I'm taking this piece of stir stick and I'm just going to glue that onto the bottom of it. No rhyme or reason as to how you want that I'm just adding this as the stand. Then I went in with some white paint I gave that two coats and allowed that to dry this piece of stick i just picked this up from the outside and then i cut that down to give me stems so i glue I, I cut them down and then sand down the edges and glued them on with both hot glue as well as some wood glue and when that was dry i went in with some brown paint just to paint the top of the pumpkin and then dry brush the sides of it Now, what you did not see me do here is add that pumpkin to the middle one. I lost the footage for that, but what I did, I just cut a circle from the same buffalo check paper and add some twine to give me a pumpkin and pasted a piece of the stem on top of that. And I am just going to paint on the word gather. So I did three letters on one side and then the other three on the other side and used my heat gun to dry that. I am then going in with the orange paint to write the word let's and this is what we have let's gather. Now I had this raffia twine and I'm just gonna wrap three pieces around the stems three bows and I just went in afterwards with some Mod Podge. Here we are done.
We are on to the Buffalo Check pumpkin. Now this is a scarf that I picked up at the 79 cent store and I'm just going to be using some newspaper, wrap them into a ball. And when I was satisfied as to the size I needed, I used masking tape to secure the edges. and cut off a piece of the scarf, which I think I would have needed to make my pumpkin. I then took my X-Acto knife and removed the center of the ball or the center of the pumpkin. I took the scarf and tucked the ends inside the hole and used hot glue to secure the, the ends as well as the sides. You wanna make sure you're gluing down all the loose ends so that they don't come apart. And whatever excess uh, fabric is left, you can remove that as well. I then took a piece of nautical rope. I stuck the piece in the center into that hole and just wrapped it around evenly a couple times and when I was satisfied with the amount I just cut that off glued it down and here I am going in with another piece of that branch to form the stem I glued that in I got some leaves from floral pick glued that on and we are done so there you have it guys for fall DIYs let me know in the comments down below which of these was your favorite and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell as well so you'll be notified every time I upload and if you like content like this one be sure to watch this video or watch this playlist and follow me on my social media platform instagram and pinterest and i'll catch you in my next one